All right, I'm going to try to keep this quick. Um, if you're having the problem I have in the title with the AAVG system file that's causing uh, the causing your system not to boot or your client's system not to boot, um, this is how to solve that. Def uh, more specifically, if you can't boot into safe mode. Um, I saw a lot of people just basically saying uninstall AVG, I can't boot into, I can't boot the computer, then they say oh, well boot into safe mode and in my case I could not boot into safe mode, safe mode either. If you can boot into safe mode then do that and uninstall AVG. Um, however, if you're like me you won't be able to do that. So straight away I'm going to have to, I'll say that you're, uh, you're going to need a couple of things. One, you're going to need a working Windows computer so that you can actually do this process. And two, you're going to have to remove your your problematic hard drive from the problematic computer. Um, and you're going to have to be able to plug it into the working computer, whether that's internally through the SATA and, you're, and powering through the power cables, um, or externally um, via a HDD um, to USB device. Um, and they're not that expensive and I think you can even uh, get a plug that just goes straight from the SATA to a USB. Okay, so if you have both of those then you will be able to solve your problem. If you don't then um, depending on your situation you'll have to make a decision whether you're going to format or not. Um, as far as I'm aware there's no other way of doing this. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is once you've plugged your problematic hard drive into your good computer, as long as <laughs> make sure it doesn't have viruses on it, um, use a good antivirus, I recommend Defender. Uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to launch registration edit or reg edit. Um, and then you're going to want to click on HK local machine or computer if it's not dropped down already and then you're going to want to load a hive now the hive is actually located in your problematic drive letter so it'll be in your list here problematic drive uh, Windows system 32 and then inside config so we'll go to config and the wrong side of this config and then you want to open your system hive I can't open it because I'm actually looking at my main drive anyway so you open it it'll ask for you to name it which you want to do um, name it temporary name it problematic drives um, system hive and uh, then you'll open it and you'll be open it like this then you're going to want to locate control set um, or current control set the but you want to do current control set if you've got current control set then do that if you only got control set then do that then you're going to want to open services um, these files I didn't have on the hard drive I was fixing however only one of them has services the rest are just empty pretty much they don't have services so it's not, a, not an issue we need to look at um, I would say these are either old or something different. We just want to look at current control set if you have it available. Um, again, on the hard drive I was fixing, there was no current control set. It was just control set 001. And I went into services. And you're going to want to locate AVG, capital VMM, dot SYS, or whatever driver you're trying to uninstall or make Windows not rely on to boot. Um, again, this could very specifically work for only the AVG driver. Any any other drivers, are, you're on your own, but this is the process. Um, so you would go down, you'd locate AVG um, vmm.sys and I'm just going to click on a random one because I don't install AVG because AVG, in my opinion, is horrible from lots of bad experiences. So we'll just click on this one um, and then you want to click on the start little ticket thingy here. 
double click on that and you literally just replace three or whatever numbers in there for four um, and press OK. All right. Um, once you press OK, it's all saved straight away. You can go back and click on you well, just make sure it's selected and click unload hive. It's already saved onto your hard drive, your problematic hard drive. Plug that back into your other computer and it should boot. Um, it would be very odd for it not to boot unless of course there's another driver that's problematic. Um, in the case that I had it was just the one and I was very happy even though I, because I, I expected to be one drive after one driver after the other when I noticed that there was plenty of AVG drivers. Anyway, I hope that has helped people. Um, I'll try to edit this into a shorter, short as possible video. And uh, yes, good luck.